hopefully today will be a lot more um we've got four days right so hopefully it'll be a lot more relaxing this one your second morning at yakushima you're going with the other girls to see a large cryptomeria tree considered a world heritage site ah, the air is so fresh i i mean wouldn't akihiko want to see it I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. I wouldn't have thought you can't you do this in Iwatodai. <sighs> yeah, maybe we shouldn't have invited them all. We probably made this plan before, but maybe we should have been like, Are you guys sure you want to come? Oh, so listen to this. Junpei was acting like such a pervert yesterday, and I didn't know how to react. I'm telling you, we should have drowned the boy. It's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Yep. Yes, it is. Huh? Oh, yeah. Um, could I have an option to respond to Fuka, please? Because, boy, is she trying. Mitsuru received an incoming call on her phone. Mitsuru speaking. One moment, let me switch over to speakerphone. Everything okay? Please continue. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island. And a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. A machine? Like, okay. A machine? So it's around the... I mean, we're in Yakushima. What do you want us to do about this? What kind of machine is it? I need detailed information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a combat vehicle, an anti-shadow weapon to be precise. Okay. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? Why have you got a tank that can just move on its own? We gotta let the others know. Where's my cell? We're not currently with the others, so it might take some time for us all to assemble. I mean, we crossed a ferry to get here. What do you think we can do over at the island? Wait, are we talking here or are we talking... Because you said... Yeah, I'm at the lab here on the island and a machine that was... Oh, no, wait. Did he come with us? He came with us, didn't he? Did he? Did he? I don't know why I'm trying to go up. But yeah, he came with us, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, so we're talking about Yakushima. Okay, okay, so we might be able to do something about it. We're in the middle of the woods, but I'm sure the boys can do something. For some reason, I thought he was talking about that he was back at, you know, the school and the dorm. For some reason, I was thinking about the lab that got blown up, and I was like, why are you in that lab? I'm stupid, that's what I am. I see. Well, regardless, I want you to handle this as soon as possible. I'm on my way there now. Okay, okay. If the target cannot be captured, do we have permission to destroy it? <laughs> I highly doubt you'll be able to destroy it. I mean, can we try? What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. Do your I'll best. Call you again later. Nice. The Kitsuki ended the call. Great. No one's answering. Oh, you'd think Akihiko would. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Okay. Then we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although this island is quite large. Oh, geez, where could they be? They're probably on the beach having fun. They're not gonna... They're probably get in the water. So, like, they probably put their phones in silence by mistake. And they can't hear us at the moment. Jinpei and Akihiko are there. Huh? Are the girls not up yet? <laughs> He's just there waiting for us. Did you not know that we were going out on our own? Man, what lazy bones. The ocean's not gonna sit around and wait for us, you know. You're right. Once the sun sets, the water temperature drops, tiring you out much faster. Okay, it's a bit rude that we didn't tell them where we were going before we went. Huh? Uh, I guess. Is that what you're worried about? He wants to see us in our bikinis, Akihiko. That reminds me, one of the maids gave me a letter as we were leaving. Oh, okay, the letter is us telling one that, hey, we're gonna go see the tree. Well, hey, Junpei! The letter Akihiko was holding is now in Junpei's hand. Ah, no vets! 
I ain't letting any love letters from a lovely maid slip through my fingers. Oh, it's not gonna be for you. Oh, how dumb can you get? Ah, let's see here. This says we've gone to see the Joman cedar tree. Huh? It looks like Fuka's handwriting. How do you know Fuka's handwriting? I would have believed it more if it was Mitsui. Oh, man. We're at an island resort in the middle of summer. Why don't they go to the beach? We don't need to go to the beach every single day. That's just not right. Oh, Jopei. Well, it is your fault. Yeah, you kind of freaked us out. What do you mean? I, I just wanted to lighten up the mood. I don't want to hear it. Oh, oh. Angry at Kihiko. Well, doesn't matter anyway. We're on our own now. Just the guys. If you're out of ammo, you pick it up on the battlefield. That's one of the most basic military tactics. What? We'll call this Operation Babe Hunt. Oh, no, no, no. Babe Hunt? Are they gonna hunt for us? You mean like, pick up girls? What do you think, Akihiko-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck, boys. Nah, I'll pass. Oh, scared you're gonna lose? Uh, oh, he's, he's uh, doing his competition thing. Is that gonna help or what? hurt? What? Yep, it's gonna help. Of course it is. Hey, I'm not judging you. Most guys would rather back down than lose. All right, we're doing this. Okay, with Mitsuru and our leader gone, I'm in command. Oh, Akihiko, stop. Huh? Yeah, that's not gonna help his inferiority complex, is it? The loser buys dinner at Hagakure when we get back home. <laughs> It's Akihiko, Junpei! It's Akihiko! Commence the operation. Loser? What do you mean, loser? You... Re you ignited his competition. Wait, we're gonna go hit on him separately? <laughs> Hi there, miss. Wanna hang out? <laughs> oh, that sounds so creepy. Oh, I see. You're here with your boyfriend. Hey there! Say, do you know the most efficient swimming technique? <laughs> the butterfly stroke uses your leg strength to... Okay, he's actively talking to ladies, so that will, um, hurt him as well, I guess. Oh, I... I see. <clears throat> Need someone to rub sunblock on your hard-to-reach areas? No, 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 no. Oh, don't worry. I'm Ew. really good at it. <laughs> uh, you're trying to get a tan? I'm in the way. Oh, so it's not a private me, then. beach then. It looked like a private beach because there was nobody on it. Mm. All right, Junpei. What's going on here? What do you mean? What do you mean? That indirect approach of yours isn't going to help you score. What? So you're saying I should use cheesy come-ons like yours? Yeah, both of those the ways were very bad. Very, very bad. Honesty is the best policy. Mm, was it, though? Was it? I mean, who wants to listen to a guy drone about muscles and... <laughs> What's up? You see something? What are you seeing? Are you seeing this giant tank? Oh, is... Is that the tank? Is that the shadow killing machine? It, she sort of looked like she had, you know, met robot teeth heart. Talk about saving the best for last. Now that's what I'm talking about. Man, she's cute. She is cute. I agree. Akihiko thinks she's cute. This is our last chance to make up for failures. All right, here I go. Hey! <laughs> yeah, but you're a bit of a slowpoke. Hey, how's it going? I noticed you've been uh, staring at the ocean. So, what do you think that... I don't know what I'm trying to say, what am I trying to say? 
and that they've somehow managed to um, stumble upon this shadow killing machine. So, um, I feel like. Um, do you come here often? I feel like a, a company that was trying to create time travel could definitely create like an AI machine. My name's J- J- Junpei. J- J- Junpei. J- J- Junpei. Oh, don't worry, I I just yeah, want to talk. Yeah, she's wearing weird stuff. She's definitely odd. I mean, I mean, it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, isn't it? I am looking for a human. Mysterious girl. So you're looking for a human? Uh, oh yeah. You are not the one. Oh, ouch! <laughs> Wow, he got shot down faster than I expected. Oh, you guys are so dumb. This is not weird to you. She's a tough one, senpai. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Uh, I feel like you're not the one either. Wow, hello there. Say, uh, do you like the ocean? Who, who, who is she looking for then? Maybe Mitsuru? Because she's made by her company, so maybe her father made her to protect her? I don't know. Is I don't your know. question directed at me? Yes. Oh, um, uh, yeah. I, I like the ocean too. Hey, I heard that triathletes who train at the beach perform better than those who practice indoors. Interesting. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. That type of information is irrelevant to me. Yeah, she's not a triathlete. <laughs> I won. I talked to her longer than you did. It doesn't matter how long you talk to her. Neither of you got her number. <sighs> Ugh, this sucks. <laughs> hey, stop crying. You're making me feel bad. The mysterious girl. She looks surprised for some reason. What's she looking at? <laughs> uh, she took off. Bye. It wasn't because of us, was it? Something tells me we're getting. Maybe she's not the machine, but something tells me she's going. We're going to see her again. Who knows? Wait, she's heading into the forest. Isn't it dangerous for a skinny girl like her to wander around you, all alone in there? How do you know she's a she's a skinny girl? She's wearing like an unflattering Victorian style nightdress. It looks like. Why? You think there might be bears or something? <laughs> Maybe. I I don't know about that, but we should go after. He just wants a chance to talk to her again, to try again with her. Geoman Tsuki Forest. You've become separated from Yukari and the others. How did that happen? I found the tree though. Huh. You sense a strong gaze. More palpably than before. Oh, is she looking for me then? Is she the one that's been spying on me? She has. Hello. It's a girl. She must be the one who has been watching you. I'm the human you've been looking for then? Hi, hello. I was correct. You were? I have found you. Right. Are we gonna have fight now? Oh, we're hugging, we're hugging. She suddenly embraced you. I have been searching for you. Uh, well, you found me. My highest priority is to be with you. Oh, what is, what is, I thought if this was a shadow killing thing, why, what is this? It doesn't seem like she wants to let go. There she is. Wait, what? What's going on here? Jinpei and Akihiko have arrived. Even then, it doesn't seem like she plans on letting go. I see. So that's her preference. Ah. That's obviously why you guys did not win, because she's a lesbian or bisexual. Well, bisexual meant you had a chance, and I doubt you did. Well, that explains why we got the cold shoulder. 
there you are. Hey, here I am. Jupei. Yeah, I found the boys. What are you doing here? We've been looking all over for you. Um, what are you doing in the middle of the woods in your swimsuits? You have no idea what we've... Huh? And now they're looking at me and they've noticed me being hugged by the girl. Why is she hugging you? I don't know. She says that her highest priority... Did she say priority was to be with me? Uh, uh, yeah, she says I'm her priority. What? Listen, we've encountered a problem. What's that? Oh, you're telling the boys, yes. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but I need you all to go back to the house and prepare for battle. That won't be necessary. We found what I we were looking correct. for. We've got a humanoid machine fighting shadow person, and she's totally gonna join our team, right? Because that makes sense. It makes more sense than an eight-year-old boy. Even a Kutsky has arrived. Uh, yeah, this is embarrassing. I'm not sure why I'm embarrassed, but it is. What do you mean? Oh. You had me worried. You don't have permission to leave the lab on your own, I guess. I guess. I know. So why did you? And it's not just today that you left. You left yesterday as well, at least twice. The girl answered while still hugging you. The Kirijo family Yakushima mansion reception room. I apologize for all the trouble. Everything is under control now. Is it? So, what happened to capturing the tank? I think she is the tank. Oh, that's been taken care of. Um, I would like more explanation, though. Come here, I guess. Coming. The girl you just met walked in. This is I guess. As you can see, She's a mechanical maiden. A mechanical maiden, huh? Can I ask why she was created as a mechanical maiden? I am Igis. My mission is to destroy shadows. I have been assigned to seize. Effective immediately. Hey, okay, I was right. She's joining our team. <sighs> no way. It's like she's alive. This is unbelievable. I don't know how alive she is. She's definitely got, got to be an AI, right? She's so cute, but she's a robot. She's still cute. Anti-shadow weapons were created 10 years ago to combat uncontrollable shadows. Igust was the last to be made, and she's the only one that still remains today. An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean she... Yes. I am capable of operating the persona, Palladian. Nice. Cool. She suffered major damage in combat and has remained in the lab ever since. So why did she leave to see me then? It's still unclear as to why she suddenly reactivated herself this morning. Well, I hope you will all get <laughs> along. I do as well. An anti-shadow weapon with a will of her own? This is amazing! Um... By the way, when I saw you earlier, it seemed like you knew her. Me? Yes. It is very important for me to be by her side. Why? Hmm. Perhaps her identification system is malfunctioning. Perhaps. Or maybe she's still half asleep. This is quite maybe interesting. It's, maybe it's just because I'm the main character. Hmm. I don't think it's that. What you think was the reason? Well, I can ponder this later. Oh, I forgot to tell you all. You can participate in a wide range of recreational activities here. Okay. There's a tennis court, a pool table, even a karaoke machine. Ooh, karaoke, yes. Would you care to hear me sing? <laughs> no. Uh... I went from yes to no very quickly there. Uh, very, very quickly. Okay, we're halfway through our vacation already. Back on the beach. We came to the beach with everyone, including Igus. 
Man, it's already the third day of our trip. Ah, that's what I was saying. It's too bad we have to go home tomorrow. I'd totally stay longer if I could. Same. But I can't complain. A lot of cool things happened while we were here. How can he be so full of energy? Uh, that's where all of his, like, brain power goes. We were all up so late last night. Do we have a mission at the beach today? Nah, it's nothing like that. We just came here to have some fun. Yeah, it's our vacation at the moment, I guess. Do you understand what it means to have fun, I guess? I guess, I guess, I guess he doesn't. Of course, recreation is the refreshment of one's mind and body. Yeah, that's why we're here. Exactly. Well, you sure know a lot about us humans. All right, yeah. let's take she one does. last dip before does. we leave. Junpei ran to the water's edge, dragging Aegis along. Uh, hold on, Junpei-kun. Uh, yeah, she's robotic. Is she waterproof? Is it okay for Aegis to go in the ocean? Oh, I'm sure she's waterproof. We gotta hope. Only Aegis returns. What's wrong, Aegis? It is best that we all engage in this activity together. An activity in which only one person derives enjoyment Aww. is not the optimal method to have fun. Okay, okay, I'm willing to go into the water with you guys. Ugh, do we have to? Yeah. We gotta beat, we gotta beat, um, we gotta beat, uh, Junpei. Despite her words earlier, Yukari is having fun in the water with Igus. We should join them. We should. Okay. Kupka and Mitsuru also joined in. The Kukski arrived. Are you enjoying yourself? Me? Yeah. We've been quite busy during our time here, but it looks as if we can relax a bit today. It does. I hope so. Hey, Akihiko-san, come on! It's your turn! <laughs> My turn? What are they doing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad to see everyone is having so much fun. I've already told you what time the ship will be arriving tomorrow, yes? No, what time? Early? Late? I'll most likely head over to the port early, so don't be late. That didn't answer my question. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'll let everyone know. We can get back down to business again once we're back at the door. Yeah, let's stop talking about everything for now then. Got it. This again? I guess we should go too. Yeah, we need to go beat him up. I guess wait! That's not what water gun means! <laughs> Junpei Kun is down! He is! Alright, here's our chance for an all out attack! Attack! He's Junpei. I've got Let's to do it Junpei. <laughs> you had a fun time with your friends at Yakushima. With Igus joining, things are more likely to get livelier. Hey, we ranked. I forgot about that. We ranked up our C's rank. Level 5. Yay. C's determination in battle has been enhanced. Party members can now take a multiple blow for you in battle. Please don't. When you receive a blow that would otherwise kill you, your ally will take the hit for you during battle. The Yakushima vacation has ended. You return to the dormitory. Back on Thursday, here we are. Now, late night at Tatsumi Ports Island's back alley. The punks at the hangouts are whooping it up as usual. What the fuck is whooping it up? Shinjiro is sitting by himself away from the group. Is he okay? Three dark figures approach Shinjiro. Ah, oh, I wonder who these three will be. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be the um, pale man, the 
girl in a dress and I want to say the other one's been named Jun, but if not, the smart looking boy. Somebody was close to You seem to. to be in great pain. Yeah, evil Jesus. You guys. Oh, he knows them. He knows them. Why haven't you told us about them? Ah, shit, it's them. Everybody run. You mean those three? Wow, they're freaky. Tough chick, you're not tough enough for this. Get out of here. Shut up, let's go. The punks left the hangout. There's the girl in a dress. Why do they always run and hide when I approach? Because <laughs> you're, you're, you're a freak, I guess. They're like back alley rats. Beats me. Why didn't you run? Because you hurt? Jin. Give him the capsules. Hey, he was Jin. I was right. How did I remember his name? <laughs> oh, he's just he's still just called smart looking guy. The smart looking guy handed Shinjiro something. Thanks. Drugs? Are you having drugs from these guys? Why would you trust these guys? I'll pay you the same as Hold up. This time information will suffice. Oh, about us. Your acquaintances have been busy lately. Don't betray us, please. I know you don't know anybody else except Mitsuru and Akihiko. I mean, you probably know A Mitsuru. I'm referring to their activities on nights when the moon is full. They spend a great deal of time in the tower as well. Why did they take this burden upon themselves? Because they're goody two shoes. <laughs> You do know, don't you? But you don't wish to say. Is it because they are your friends? Um, some of them are your friends. No, I've got nothing to do with them. But you still won't say? Then tell us. Wouldn't you agree these pills are more important than a bunch of strangers? What, what are these pills? Are these literal drugs? Huh. I don't know the details, but supposedly if you destroy all those creatures, then the tower will disappear, and with it the dark hour. Oh, they probably won't like that. Their business will go boom. You mean, they intend to eliminate the dark hour? Yes. Why would they do such a thing? With the power they have... What? They wish to destroy the Tower of Demise as well? Tartarus? Yeah. Tower of Demise? Who wouldn't want to take out that damn tower? I'm guessing these three. Easy, Takaya. Takaya. Takaya Jin and the girl in the dress. Yes. Yes. The three left. I guess they can't really change the names to the actual names until the main character meets them and gets introduced to them, right? Does that make sense? I can't go back. Not after what happened. For shame, man, for shame. Man, I'm beat. It seemed to take forever to get back. Yeah, it was a tiring trip. Please rest up so you're ready for the next operation. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any plans for summer break, so I can fight shadows all you want. Wow, you must be really bored. Shut up, Yukatan. Whatever. We just have to defeat those last six, and I'll be, and it'll be all over. Well, it feels like it's just got a hell of a lot more complicated, and we're probably going to meet them in the next uh, full moon. Last will get better, and everything will be back to normal, right? That's why we have to try our hardest. All right, that's why we're gonna try. Everybody's here today, are they? She's cute, huh? Super cute. I don't think I've ever met a machine that was so cute before. Do you think anyone will be able to tell that she's a robot? I don't. I mean, you'd really have to be looking for a robot to figure that out. As long as she acts normal, no one will suspect a thing. That's the problem though, she doesn't act normal. 
everyone seems tired. Maybe we should skip going to Tartarus tonight and just rest. Maybe. Hmm, an anti-shadow weapon. That will be a most welcome addition. The most souvenirs are worthless, no globes, keychains, postcards. However, this one, this is one souvenir from Yakushima that is Sabian. Well, let's not speak about the like that. A lot of people are joining the team now. It's so much different than before. Hey, is Ken here? Hmm, is there something you'd like to know about Aegis? So what happened to the others? I assume you were referring to the other anti-shadow weapons. Well, there were so many created, you could say they were Aegis's sisters. However, they were all destroyed 10 years ago in the incident. Aegis has been quite lonely since then. So why is she a human form? Personas are created from human minds. So the plan was to place the human mind inside an anti-shadow weapon. The only real issue was the form the weapon would take. If the form of the weapon was a tank, for instance, the weapon's mind would recognise itself as a tank. However, a tank is not a living entity. This is crucial, you see, because the mind of a non-living entity will not process human thoughts correctly. So it will not function properly and it will soon become corrupted. However, a mind placed inside a form that closely resembles a human body will recognise itself as a human being, thus allowing it to easily adapt to human thoughts. Therefore, Aegis and her sisters were built in the form of human beings. That makes sense. So, how does she know me? I do not know. Perhaps it is simply a glitch in her human fluid. Perhaps it is simply a glitch in a human recognition programming. Regardless, it is nothing to concern yourself with. I'm a bit concerned, maybe. These are your lodging quarters. Very well. I shall be by your side at all times. She is still far from passing as a human. It seems she is unable to understand ordinary feelings and conversations at the moment. If she were able to do that, you may be able to create a bond with her. Oh, I'd love to do that. Yes. And I am back, baby. And so is Tanaka. Hello. Oh, it's you, Echo. Are you free at the moment? If so, I can teach you a valuable life lesson. Free of charge, of course. Of course. Let's talk with him. My, you're enthusiastic. Recently, my alumni association organised a class reunion. Uh, well, that sounds like fun. I feel like you'd enjoy that because you could go back to all the people who inevitably bullied you and tell them all that you're now rich and successful. I had a splendid time. I still laugh thinking about it. He seems cheerful. I doubt you'd understand how I feel since you're still young, but... A high school reunion is a very important event. It's the perfect opportunity to show everyone else how pathetically their lives turned out. For example, I ran into a classmate who used to make fun of me for only having rice in my bento. And another fellow who once strung up my holy socks on the flagpole. Now they both look at me with envy. Their annual salary doesn't even compare to my monthly income. My business is on a roll and my private life is also very satisfying. Please don't tell me about your personal life. Let me take you under my wing as our exclusive model. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Don't think I would just extend this offer to just everyone. Don't think I would extend this offer to just anyone. He sent he has I don't like the way you say strong feelings, okay? You start talking about your private life, which implies, you know, your like relationships, your sexual, you know, relationships. And then you say he has strong feelings for me. Ick. Ick. You can't me the ick, okay? Rank up level six already. Wow. The businessman social link has reached level six. Your power to create personas of the Devil Arcana has grown. By the way, remember that 40,000 yen you gave me? I think we can call it even. 
My time is worth at least a hundred thousand yen, yen per hour. Think of all the free advice I've given you. Sure, 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 sure. President Tanaka left with a grin on his face. He also didn't um, threaten me this time. He's definitely learning to trust me. That's nice. Good morning. Oh, okay, we have a new person that comes into my room without my knowledge or consent. Please wake up. Thank you, Aegis. I'm up. You've awakened safely. Mission complete. Yeah, yeah, I mean, um, thank you for that. I feel like my alarm clock has been doing the job serviceably for the entire game. I feel like you don't need to do that. Uh... Did my alarm even go off? It has not triggered oh, yet. Oh, how long is that going to take? The paper on the wall says do okay, things okay. five minutes That's early. Okay. I was like, is it, how early have you called me? But five minutes early is fine. Therefore, I woke you up five minutes in advance. Thank you. Hey, are you awake? Uh, yes. Why are you wanting to come into my room? Is this a is this a come into Echo's room party? That girl disappeared, and we can't find her anywhere. Think you can help us out? Uh, I found her. She might have gone out on her own, like she did in Yakushima. You've been looking for her, didn't you? Realize that she came looking for me in Yakushima. I am not a girl. I am Igis, and I am here. Huh? I, guess. I need to learn to How lock you... the door. Can I even lock? It's got a keyhole. She was asleep, so I unlocked the door. Oh, it doesn't door. help. It doesn't help. Okay. That's unlawful entry. <laughs> Didn't we tell you to stay in the command room at night? I propose to be on standby in this room from now on. Uh, is this acceptable? That is not acceptable. But I believe the the, the room next door to me is. So maybe you can go in there, huh? Where is this coming from all of a sudden? She must be with me. It's her highest priority, Yukari. If there is a problem, then I will address it promptly. Uh, well, you're both girls, so if she doesn't mind, I guess it's okay. I kind of mind. It'll be pretty crowded in here, though. Are you okay with um, that? Um, no. Not really. Sorry, I guess. Guess that's I, I don't think I'd be able to get to sleep with her there. I will comply. Oh well. I'll have a room prepared for you on the third floor so you can stay nearby. Yeah, oh, next door. And don't leave the dorm by yourself, next door. okay? That's fine, right? I will do as commanded. Ugh, I'm tired. I have practice this morning, so I gotta go. Okay, see you later, Yukari. Can you let everybody know that she's here? And can you leave so I can get dressed, please? Everyone goes to a place called school in the morning. Yes. I comprehend. Aegis nodded to herself. Oh, she's going to end up in the school, isn't she? Maybe not now, but like when we come back from summer break, she's definitely joining the school. Exam results will be posted today. I'd almost forgotten. Ooh, there's a box in the room. Okay. Okay, we got our shirt to the ship all week. nice. So, hey, I was thinking, after we defeat all the shadows and the dark tower disappears, what's gonna happen then? I don't know. Well, regular people don't even know about the dark tower, right? Yeah, you're not gonna get a parade or an award or anything, love. That means no one will ever know anything about what we've done. That kind of, that kind of sucks, don't you think? A little bit, I guess. Hey, the results are posted. We decided to go look at the exam results. Hopefully we got top 10 again. You, I scored the highest in my class. Everyone is looking at you with respect. Nice. My charm has greatly increased. I suddenly remember something. I got ahead of the class. Mitsuru promised to give you a gift if you scored the highest. You should talk to Mitsuru when she's at school. Lunchtime is almost over. You 
time to get back to your classroom. Class has ended for today. Yukari, my dear. Hey, Echo. How are you feeling today, huh? Hopefully you're doing okay after um, our holiday. Hello, Neymar. Something tells me you will not talk to me about this at all. You went shopping with Yukari. Hmm, I want to check out some earrings too. Oh, I know. How about you pick a pair for me, Echo? Let's get a matching set. That would be cool. Wait, your ears aren't pierced. Yes, they are. Oh, why don't you get a new choker then? I think you'd definitely look cute with one. Yeah, you'd look cute with yours as well. I could get a new one too. Why don't we get matching ones? Yukari seems to be enjoying this. So what are we doing? Just avoiding like the heavy topic? By um, talking about anything else? Is that her mother again? Hang on, I have a phone call. Hello? Uh-huh. What? You're not? You want me to forgive you? Wait, don't do that. Do what you want to do. That's not what I meant. If that's what you want, then go ahead. I don't care, so... Well, you don't have to worry about me. Huh. You want to get together and talk about it? I mean, we're already together. Oh, a mother. Okay, I thought she's hung up and was talking to me then. Don't cry. I'll call you later, okay? Alright. Bye. You carry hung up. That was my mum. She apologised for everything that's happened. She said she won't get remarried until I forgive her. Oh crap, I can't stop shaking. Okay, let's sit down with Yukari until she calms down. She really wants to see me, but I'm really nervous. Do you want to see her? Well, I'm not the one who has to meet. I'm afraid it might get ugly. Yukari smiled a little. I mean, I could come with you if you want. As, you know, moral support. We haven't seen each other in almost ten years. So it's not going to be easy. When I see her, I might get angry and say something cruel. But it's probably about time I talk to her. Nothing will change if I just run away. Deep down inside, I think she still misses Dad. She couldn't handle it, losing someone so important to her. That's why she needed someone to lean on. I think that losing someone you love and having to be alone is really hard. It's hard to explain, but I realised this when you and I started going out, Echo? What do you mean by going out? That sounds like a relationship, like dating. I was afraid of losing someone close to me, so I tried to avoid becoming close to anyone. My mum just wanted to forget that fear. She's weak, but I won't look down on her. My mum and I are the same after all. Yukari has reflected on herself and seems to have been able to take a step forward. And even though this doesn't correspond like the, um, to the story that's going on, it's kind of fitting that her talking to reconcile with her mother begins after she finds out about her dad. Okay, the Yukari Takaba social link has reached level four, eight. Why did I say four? Well then, let's go look at some accessories. Hey, wanna get some friendship rings? Maybe bracelets. I'll buy yours and you buy mine. Make sure you get a guy to buy you one that goes in your ring finger though. Come on, let's go. You shopped around with Yukari and then went back. Hi, how was your day? It was okay, thank you for asking. How did you do in your exams? And not bad. That's great. I'm happy for you. Did you see Mitsuru Senpai's score? Wow, she's amazing. You didn't look at my score? In two weeks, the moon will be full again. Dude, those freaks with the acne syndrome will be everywhere. Wait, I mean the lost. 
I probably shouldn't complain about them, since it's not their fault, it's those damn shadows. It is possible to end this. Six shadows remain. If we can eliminate them, the Dark Tower will vanish. Yeah, that's true. So you, what you're trying to say, Aegis, is that... So what you're trying to say, I guess, is that fighting is more important than studying, right? I agree 100%. There's no Tanaka, so is the monk here? He is! Hello, Matsatsu! Oh, it's you. He seems to be drinking by himself. Will you spend some time with him? Let's spend some time with him. What a strange kid. I was just thinking you might show up, and here you are. Hey, don't get me wrong, kid. It's not like I was looking forward to seeing you or anything. Still, your skin's shiny. What do you put on it? It's damn bright. Well, in terms of brightness, my head won't lose. Why don't you give it a try? The bold look. <laughs> I wonder what I'd look like like that. <laughs> I like that earnest answer, kid. Looks like you get 20% of what I'm saying. I mean, isn't that something everybody thinks about? What they'd look like bold? Sometimes I feel like shaving my head. But then I'm like, what if I look bad? My hair takes so long to grow. I'm not talking about fashion here. I'm saying you'd better be... I'm not talking about fashion here. I'm saying you'd be better off without your hair. Oh sure, you're young and good looking now. But just wait. I mean, look at me. I'm old and ugly. My cheeks sag like a damn bulldog's. I wasn't going to say. That's life, kid. People get old. Someday you'll be just as old as me. You'll look in the mirror and think, those were the days. Here's a little trick so you don't lose hope in the future. Just don't expect nothing. Simple, eh? And that way, you won't ever be disappointed. I guess. You're going to turn into bones one day, so why bother with it all now? If you weren't so wet behind the ears, we could have had more of an adult conversation. I wish you could have been ten years older when I met you. His twisted kindness. I think there was a moral in that, uh, you know, a lesson in that um, rant. Hey, do I? Do I really? I think he's old and he regrets his life. But now he's old and set in his ways and he can't change. Okay, level four. You're getting sleepy. What is all my talking putting you to sleep? I think it's the fumes, maybe. Well, you can't sleep you can't sleep here, kid. Go home. Let's go back to the dorm then. Ooh, we're almost at the end of July now. Cool. Dude, summer break starts tomorrow. It's time to meet some cuties at the beach. We've been to the beach already. <laughs> Good luck to you. Come on, this involves you too, you know. You only think it'll be easier for you to catch a um, catch a babe when you've got me next to you? Who knows what might happen for you during summer break. Keep that attitude up and you're going to miss all the opportunities to meet someone. Okay, okay. Please take your seats. Your regular teacher has fallen ill, so I'll be substituting today. Summer vacation begins tomorrow. Hell yeah! That's what happens when you let yourself get careless. <laughs> today I'll give you an introductory lesson on alchemy, a branch of magic focused on attaining wealth. Ooh, I could do with some wealth. Do you like money? Of course you do. Who among us doesn't? It's human nature to want what one doesn't have. There's no escaping it. Long before the days of King Midas, humans sought a way to create gold from base elements. It wasn't their dream to gain gold like King Midas by touching things. Rather, they conceived of converting cheap metals. Such <coughs> Rather, they conceived of converting cheap metals such as iron or copper into precious gold. That 
is alchemy. Whatever their incentive for creating the science, it's certain that alchemy has significantly influenced history. The concept of alchemy originated in Greek philosophy. Around 500 AD it was further developed in Arabia, which became the centre of alchemical studies. The science later gained popularity in Europe as well. An interesting little known branch of alchemy was created in China, called Rotanjutsu. This form of alchemy seeks to make an elixir of immortality instead of a magic recipe for gold. Either way, the most important substance in the world of Either way, the most important substance in the practice of alchemy is mercury, or quicksilver. It was thought that mercury could be used to create the Philosopher's Stone, which would in turn generate gold. Alchemists performed endless research using various kinds of equipment and experimental methods. Today, people believe that if not for the al alchemists' trial and error, there would be no chemistry as we know it. But there is no indication that a philosopher's stone was ever actually made. In a way, it's one of the great strategies of world history. Now, alchemy has also influenced human psychology. Carl Jung, among others, thought that the creation of the Philosopher's Stone is related to the human mind. Jung believed that the process of psychotherapy is similar to the way a Philosopher's Stone would work. I'm, yeah, it's going a bit on, but we'll stay awake. In conclusion, I think it's a shame to give up on alchemy when we've come so far. It's better for young adults to strive for unusual goals, that they might lead more exciting lives. After all, from the perspective of ancient peoples, modern science may as well be magic or alchemy. If you work very hard, you might be able to discover your own form of magic. Oh, we already have. They're called personas. But I think that will do for today. Enjoy your summer. I will. I listened to the, the lecture. I got increased academics. I'm ready. Ah, Akamoto-san. Oh, canoe. What are you doing here? About the club, do you know about the fellowship we'll be doing at another school? You'll all get to play tennis at a school in the countryside. Imagine that fresh air. What do you mean all? It's just me and Leo. And at night, there'll be delicious food and a hot spring. Doesn't that just sound wonderful? In two days from now, you'll practice here for a week, then leave for the other school. Don't forget. Okay. It seems the club will be meeting at school two days from now. Wait, I thought it was the summertime. Gosh darn it. Today marks the end of the first term. Summer break begins tomorrow. Okay, so let's see who's available to talk to. Hey. Yuka, it's been a while. Hey Echo-chan, are you coming to the cooking club today? Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's spend some time together. Okay, then let's go. She seems happy. Good, good, good. What should we try today, Echo-chan? I bought a new cookbook today. Very sweet in the book that Kuka brought for today. Based on the ingredients you have on hand, you decide to make cupcakes. Do, do you think I can make something that difficult? Okay, we'll make it together, okay? Instead of doing it this separately, we'll just do it together. Okay, I'll try my best not to get in your way. Sugar is in high spirit. Let's do this. Let me know if I do something wrong. Um, first I need to sift the flour, right? Fuka started dumping sugar into the sifter. Oh, that sugar. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, you're right. It was white, so I thought it was... There's a complete different te uh, texture to them, though. Flour's, like, softer. So I thought it was flour. Thanks for stopping me. Um, then again, I had done the exact same thing, right? When I was at school, we, like, had to bring the ingredients in from home. So we did. And the recipe that we used 
it had flour and then it needed like it had sugar and then it needed a pinch of salt so my mum like could put a little bit of well I me and my mum would put a little bit of so, you know we'd put salt in so you know we'd put a bit of salt in there more than a pinch obviously so it could do it I switched them around so I put when it said put the sugar in I put the salt and then you know I put a pinch of sugar <laughs> in the food and it oh those flapjacks were just disgusting I brought them all the way home like I tried them they were disgusting so I was like you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make everybody try them so I brought them home and I'm like here try them and the, you know then I was like are they good and she was just like um, yeah yeah they were all right and I'm like no they were crap So I kind of understand fruit at this moment. So I sift it into the bowl and then mix the butter in. Should I use my hands to mix it in? I know that you use your hands when making hamburger patties. Um, you you could, you could, but let's use a, a whisk. Oh yeah, I see. It would stick to my hands if I did that, huh? I mean, I feel like you could use your hands as well, right? Just make sure you've washed them. You had some leftover bananas, so you tried mashing them in, even though the recipe didn't call for it. You poured the batter into the cup. All you need to do now is bake them. I'm surprised you were able to improvise like that. Whenever I try that. Hey, you did your best. That seemed like there was only two mistakes. Echo can. Thanks. Luca seems happy. They're delicious. I'm so happy that I was able to make something so difficult. It's all thanks to you, Echo Chan. She's gained some self confidence. Wonderful. Together you've overcome a difficult task and you feel as though you've grown closer to Luca. Nice. The Fuka Yamagishi Social Link has reached level 5. Your power to create personas of the Priestess Arcana has grown. I'm going to take my share home and enjoy them later. I don't want to enjoy them all at once. I wish they'd last forever. But I've got two banana cupcakes. Nice. If you give them to someone when you go out on your days off, it might make them happy. It might. You cleaned up the room with Fuka and headed back to the dorm. It's now the evening, eh? Oh, oh, the story's definitely picking up, isn't it? Tatsumi Port Island, back alley. Three figures enter. Good evening. I'm glad to see that you're well. Are they talking to Shinji again? Yep, yeah. he's just like, fuck off, dude. Here's the pills. Incidentally, I see that they've again added a new ally to their ranks. Yeah, he's not seen us recently, so I don't know who they are. Well, I suppose it's more of a pet oh, wait, than an ally. Wait, how do you know that? How how would you know that? She's not left the um the building. Makes no difference to me. Has she said a single word? It seems that what you told us before about their intentions was true. Yeah. How lamentable. Now we have no choice but to intervene. Yeah, I told you, next full moon they'll be there. <laughs> Shinji just does not like it that. It is up to each individual how he will use the strength granted him. But to erase the dark hour would be denying the very power they possess. Sure, that's makes sense we cannot tolerate that do whatever you want yeah do whatever you want just keep him out of it hold it why why has he been upgraded from smart looking boy to intelligent no he's been upgraded he's has he been upgraded or has he been downgraded because he was a smart looking man and now he's an intelligent boy what are you gonna do 
He's gonna go home and have his pills. I know they asked you to come back. Yeah, I think Akihiko asks like every month. You're starting to piss me off. They're going down, you hear me? And if you're on their side, then you're going down too. Like I said before, it doesn't concern I you. wish you'd at least warn us about this gang though. That would be nice. Hello. Oh, Ken, hi. I was wondering when you'd come, which makes sense. It's the first day of the holidays, isn't it? My name is Ken Amada. I'll be staying here for a while. I'll try to stay out of everyone's way, so don't mind me. Where's our boy? Oh, he's... Oh, no, that's Yukari. Where's Ken? Sit down, Ken. Take a load off. Uh, Echo-san. My name is Ken Amada. I'm pleased to meet you. I just moved into the dorm. I'll be staying here for the summer. Oh, uh, don't take this the wrong way, but I hope you move out when, uh, the school starts again. Ken, huh? Hmm, Ken. I don't know what it is, but there's something about him. Maybe it's that he's more mature than I am. He is. What do you think? Hey, I hope Ken Kun won't be involved in this. Ugh, he won't. Yeah, maybe I'm worrying too much. Oh, I'm so relieved. Thank you. What does Ken have to say about the, uh, the, the, the robots? It won't be that bad. Just try to get along with him. Okay, Echo? I get along with everybody. Thank you very much. He moved into the dorm, but he's not yet a member of Seas. Don't talk with him about anything regarding shadows. Using the clock to recover won't cost as much today. That's a stroke of luck. What happens if we decide to go to Tartarus? Don't you think Kenkun's cute? Uh, he's a kid. I guess he's kind of cute. He reminds me of a little brother. I just want to take care of him. The data regarding the newest resident, Ken Amada-san, has been recorded. I am able to communicate with him at any time. Please permit me to do so. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tanaka is not here. I like how they change their outfits on the day, the Sundays. They can't talk, they can't walk, they can't think, but you bet your ass they can pick up that uniform. Oh, it's you. He's drinking, but he's always drinking them by himself. So let's spend some time together. So I guess I don't have to bring the girls over here then, do I? Luckily to myself, I guess. You're late. I was just about to leave. You come here a lot too, huh? Well, there's not much I can do at night. I talk to you or I talk to the guy, um, the president of the Tanaka Company. The Tanaka Company. And, you know, if there's nothing else, then there's nothing much I really do. Hey, you alright, kid. You know, money-wise. High school kids don't have much money, do they? At least I never gave much to my son. Uh, I get by quite a lot. I, I, I've i got, like, 400,000 yen at the moment. Is that right? Hmm. I guess you kids have ways to make money nowadays. He's impressed, is he? Yeah, I go out and I beat shadows at night. Not doing anything illegal, though, are you? Not that I care. I'm not. Now give me a straight answer. Is there anything you want right now? Oh, yeah, he that's what he was saying earlier, right? He was like, um... He was like, you know, people don't call people friends. They just want something. So he's starting to think that I want something. I don't actually. I just... Uh, well, I guess I want higher level personas and stuff. I want my social link maxed. But no. Other than that... Hmm. Don't tell me you've attained enlightenment at your age. I can always do with something to eat. That's always nice. When I was a young man... I never had enough money to buy the things I wanted. I have enough money, but then I just don't buy the stuff. When you get to be my age, hmm, 
Never mind. You work to make money so you can have a better life. But to make enough money, you've got to work all the time. So you never get to enjoy that better life you're working so hard to have. Quite a paradox, isn't it? Do you know what the average lifetime income of a white collar worker is? Including a retirement fund and an annual pension? 250 million yen. Hmm, that's not even close to a lottery jackpot. Thanks to me, you learned something new today, eh kid? Now don't go wasting your life working all the time, trying to get rich. Just take life as it comes. He saw through Mutatsu's harsh words and felt his kindness. Why did I say kindness like that? I don't know. Our Arcana has grown. But I'm getting sleepy. I worked my ass off for a lousy 250 million yen. And for what? I wish I could buy back all the time I lost. Time with your kid and your wife, maybe? Let's go back to the dorm. Man, talk about responsible. So are you... Why are you asking that question? Are you going to inherit the business? You can just go spend in the corner. Why are you here? I don't know yet. Yeah, don't stick your nose in other people's business. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, 